of mechanisms to slow that down and stop it. On the other direction, though, what happened with Nasser, if people are accusing you and the authorities don't do anything, there's not a lot of things in place to help that along, and that's why it takes years and years and claims like this. I mean, look at uh, the change uh, just uh, at where we work. I mean, I can't go around saying, I can't go and snap my finger, fingers and go, baby, 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 at the hotel room up the street. Uh, I didn't mean to hear that. Oh, my no. God, that was something I wish I had not I heard coming out of your God. mouth. I can't do any of that anymore. It's <laughs> <really good. laughs> like For that you. anyway. <laughs> oh. It would never work. That's not how you roll. Oh, okay. Thank <laughs> God. All right, Johnny Depp got cross-examined yesterday in his defamation case against his ex-wife, Amber Heard, where he is suing her for libel because she wrote this article in 2018, uh, an op-ed that said that he had abused her. Now, yesterday, her lawyers went after Johnny Depp, talked about how he, you know, pointed out instances where he was drinking, using drugs, texts he had sent to friends, including one about wanting to kill his then-wife. And he, so he sends this message where he talks about, uh, to his friend, Paul Bettany, and he says, I'm an insane person and not fair-headed after I drink too much, weed pills, fine, booze, my capacity is too large, and I won't stop, ugly and sad, oh, how I love it. Then he ends with, let's burn Amber. His buddy writes back, having thought about it, I don't think we should burn Amber. Jet texted, let's drown her before we burn her. I will blank her corpse afterwards and make sure she's dead. However, they are trying to prove that these things caused Amber Heard to hit Johnny Depp. And did it go too far? Did it cross the line? Because she, of course, is accused of actually being the one who might have smacked him around. And my favorite quote from yesterday was when they asked him, have you ever trashed a hotel room? And Johnny Depp comes back with, yes, I think I have assaulted a couch once or twice. <laughs> Yeah, this thing is so ugly on both sides. And, you know, at some point you go, all right, fine, dirty laundry, leave it alone. But it's Johnny Depp, and uh, so what do you do with that? It's also, this is this is defamation case. It's not an assault case. Nobody's suing right, anybody for right. assaulting anybody. It's defamation. So given all of this drama and uh, drunken, violent rambling, don't you think it's impossible that a jury can find that Amber Heard defamed no, Johnny Depp? No. No, it's not just case really, just the way you define it. Let's do one more uh, before we break. Uh, oh, well, very quickly, uh, does, does he have a case? A man in Bessemer, Alabama, filing a putative class action lawsuit against Kraft Heinz Foods, the maker of Country Time Lemonade, saying that although the canister says it'll make eight quarts of lemonade, that if you follow the directions on the canister, you will only get six quarts of lemonade, if that's true. It's a slam dunk case. But not, let me ask you this. Yeah. You know where it says, put your finger and add oh, six quarts, add four quarts of water. How is this going to fly when you go, okay, the director say add six quarts, and therefore it doesn't make six quarts unless it says add six quarts, and it will make eight quarts. What am I missing here? Uh, if he's right, if he's right, they sell you a canister of powder, they tell you how much powder and how much water to use, which will get you six quarts, but on the canister they claim you will get eight quarts. Now, so that is clearly, if, if all of that is true, it's a false label, and it's a false label as to a very specific representation. Yeah. Now, ask me... How any company is going to say add six quarts of water and then on the label it said it makes eight quarts. All right, I have yet to figure this out. So a figure. Uh, coming up, uh, another issue of homelessness. And it's another spin we haven't heard of yet. This one doesn't stop. This is LA County and LA City screaming at each other where they were partners and friends. That's coming up. This is KFI AM 640 Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. The more you know, the easier it is to avoid the idiots around you. KFI AM 1622. Los Angeles, I'm coming. Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Graphic new evidence. I'm Jennifer Jones Lee, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. New satellite images have shown what appears to be mass graves near Mariupol in southern Ukraine. 
Local officials there have accused Russia of daring up to 9,000 people in an effort to try and cover up the killing that's taken place during the siege of the port city. The images emerged after hours after Russian President Putin claimed victory in Mariupol. He made the declaration despite the presence of about 2,000 Ukrainian uh, fighters who were still defending a giant steel mill in the city. Delhi City Attorney has settled a major case involving fake COVID-19 test results. On Fewer says, same day technologies would send fake test results before samples arrived at a lab. The company's been fined $26 million. It sends a very strong message to any testing company, which might be in the position of getting results that are anything other than absolutely accurate, but they'll be accountable if there's any of because the stakes are just too high. Fewer says the company was also involved in national fraud and false advertising, which has been 500 people to scan. Great. Take a fine area. Scientists say a mountain lion hit and killed by a car on the 405 in Brentwood was one they were tracking. The National Park Services and Ideal for Solo says the 18-month-old was likely in the area looking to establish its territory. It recently dispersed from his mother, 254. Solo says the cat was identified by its ear pads. He says he is the fourth lion to be hit by a car and killed in the area since 2009. A former Orange County chiropractor has been sentenced to 70 months in federal prison for submitting more than $2 million in phony billings to insurers. Prosecutors say the woman would go to health care fairs and pick up the personal ID of people who worked at the UPS and OSCO, then use the information to submit phony reimbursement claims. The judge also ordered her to pay $1.3 million to her victims. Firefighters in Arizona and New Mexico have their work cut out for them. Forecasters say wind conditions will be extreme. The ground and aircraft that were used yesterday to fight the fires will be used again today. One of the most dangerous situations is just north of Flagstaff. The governor of Arizona declared a state of emergency yesterday for Coconino County. Forest Service officials in New Mexico say there's a high confidence a widespread, extreme, and catastrophic fire event will occur with the same winds up to 50 miles an hour. Ron Rodriguez in Florida had passed a bill removing Walt Disney World's self-government. Governor Ron DeSantis has been fighting with Disney for months over its opposition to the so-called gay law. Florida House Speaker Chris Fowle said yesterday he supports the bill. Um, I've long been a believer on these special tax rewards, whether it's Disney or others, um, that we need to look at them, that they're a subterranean state of unaccountability. Yeah, and we need to draw attention to them, and that's what we did here this week. The special taxing district could leave local taxpayers with more than a billion dollars in bond debt. Disney's self-governing district was created in the 1960s, so it could control Disney World as fire protection, emergency services, water utilities, and sewage. And today is Earth Day, the annual event demonstrating support for environmental protection. To help cut air pollution, people can ride for free on metro buses and trains and on Metrolink trains. Metro's bike share ride system is also free today. There'll be a cleanup of the L.A. River at Lewis McAdams Rockwell Waterfront Park at 2, and crews will break ground on the wildlife crossing over the 101 in Liberty Canyon today to help mountain lions and other animals move more safely around the area. We'll take your drive on the five after sports with Wayne. Dodgers pitcher Trevor Bauer will remain on administrative leave until at least April 29th, the league announced yesterday. He's missed over 100 games so far. He still faces a decision on a possible suspension in the wake of allegations of sexual misconduct. Though Bauer was cleared of earlier criminal charges in the matter and has always maintained he didn't do anything wrong. The Dodgers' Julio Urias will try to log his first win of the season as he starts against the Padres in San Diego tonight at 640, and that's live on the iHeart app. Just search for AM570 LA Sports in the app to listen in HD. The Angels' Reed Detmers is also looking for a win. He'll start at home against the Orioles' first pitch set for 638. I'm Wayne Resnick, KFI Sports. Checking your KFI Financial Report brought to you by Sweet James Accident Attorneys. The Dow is down 397, S&P down 33, NASDAQ is flat. And the average price of a gallon of unleaded gas in California is $5.69. And for the lowest gas prices in your area, you can check out our website at KFIAM640.com, keyword gas. Don't forget, during the 9 o'clock hour today, Handle has another $100 gas gift card to give away. Your SoCal weather from KFI, we've got a high surf advisory in effect until 5 tomorrow, and a wind advisory in effect that starts at 10 this morning until 8 tonight. Partly cloudy otherwise today, with a slight chance of a lingering shower this morning. More sunshine this afternoon, highs will be in the low to mid-60s by tomorrow. Big change, lots more sunshine and warmer, with highs in the 70s and 80s for the weekend, may even eke out a 90 next week. 
Right now it's 54 in Brea, 51 in Santa Clarita. Let's get a look at your ride on the 5. Good morning. Uh, as a matter of fact, last time around we rode this uh, North 5 at Burbank Boulevard problem just before that brand new bridge. Finally got a look at it. It was somebody's camper shell. <laughs> came off a pickup or something, but whatever it was, CEP went up there and uh, kind of nudged it over to the right shoulder. Now they had to stop all traffic, of course, for a minute to do that. So it's just a little slow going through there. But now from the 134 up to the 170, being in good shape. Southbound side looking good. South 170 itself coming out from the 5, so that's okay. The 405 is getting to be like the 405 leaving the San Fernando Valley, meaning, well, right now it's spoken about Victory Boulevard up and over the hill. Now, speaking of the other side of the hill, a northbound are coming up from uh, the 105 now. It's always a tough drive, but it got tougher. Right around the 90, the Marino Freeway, before you get to Culver Washington, that lane's blocked there. It's a pretty serious backup, but once you get through Culver and Washington, up to the 10 is good. East 10 is okay in the downtown Los Angeles and Orange County and inland. They're still checking in pretty good, though. Very civilized. <laughs> Keep it going, please. Jeff Bach, AFI in the sky. Fuel up for free. Yamaha Resort and Casino extend and well gives away gas cards every Monday in April to our Club Serato members. Join for free and earn points to qualify for your gas card. Driving a gas guzzler? Want to switch up your wheels? Every Thursday, Yamaha gives away a luxury car or cash. This month, you can win a 2022 BMW X7 or up to $100,000 cash. Bring into a new ride this month, courtesy of SoCal's premier casino, Yamaha. Details at Yamaha.com. Must be 21 or over to enter. Please gamble responsibly. Your time is important. No matter what your age or stage, we know you're busy. That's why you should donate your car to Cars for Kids right now. Cars for Kids offers hassle-free and quick pickup for every donor. Save precious time and fill out the easy online form at carsforkids.org. They'll send someone over the very next day to tow away your old or unusable car. Cars for Kids is the quickest and fastest way to get rid of your car. So do a good deed without losing any time from your schedule. Just go to carsforkids.org today and remember, that's cars with a K. You know, every three seconds there is a new victim of identity theft. A criminal could be applying for loans in your name, selling your personal information on the dark web. Now, protecting your identity can be very easy thanks to LifeLock by Norton. No one company can prevent all identity theft or monitor every transaction of every business, but LifeLock is simple and easy to protect yourself, and you'll save up to 25% off the first year when you go to LifeLock.com or call 1-800-LIFELOCK. Just use the promo code Hannity. The LA Kings are fighting for their spot in the 2022 Stanley Cup playoffs. Every game matters. Every point matters. They need to pack the house at Crypto.com Arena. Get your tickets today at LAKings.com backslash tickets. Want a Tesla Model 30? Skip the wait and stay big by subscribing at Autonomy.com. You can drive one home this week with plans as low as $4.90 a month. That's cheaper than a lease, loan, or rental, and you can walk away anytime after 90 days. For full terms, check out Autonomy.com. Go solar with local and veteran-owned Stripper Solaris. Visit StripperSolaris.com. A-S-I. More stimulating talk. An iHeart radio station. Bill Handel here. It is a Friday morning, April 22. Uh, oh, I want to remind you, in the 9 o'clock hour, which we're doing every uh, day until uh, about, uh, what, next week sometime, uh, giving away a $100 gas gift card sometime during the 9 o'clock hour, uh, during Gary and Shannon, during the 11 o'clock hour. Homelessness. I, I know we talk about homelessness at least once a week. Because that is such a, a massive problem. It is uh, something that affects all of us. We see it all the time, even those who are not. I mean, how many of us are homeless out there? I talked to some on handle on the law. But for the most part, we're not, but we see it. It's in our faces constantly. We're reminded of it. Uh, you know, our heart goes out to a lot of the homeless. And in the meantime, also, we're a little unhappy about these encampments, about the trash. Uh, about uh, you know the defacing of uh, you know public spaces, uh, getting in the way, you can't run them over. For example, if they're on the street, uh, there's a, a lot wrong here. So uh, it's always on top of mind uh, here, especially in Southern California, where we are the homeless capital of the United States. No surprise there. So there is uh, well, and, and let me put it this way: 
uh, there's a partial settlement of a two-year-old lawsuit over homelessness that just happened. And uh, it's with the city and the county and a bunch of agencies that sued uh, the city and the county. And uh, under this settlement, the city planned, uh, pledged to create housing, permanent or uh, interim, for 60% of the unsheltered homeless population in the city of Los Angeles. Uh, everybody was on board. The city, okay, this is terrific. Uh, the lawyers representing the lead group, LA Alliance for Human Rights, filed the lawsuit. They endorsed the agreement. You know who didn't? L.A. County. They're now out of it. Now, wait a minute. L.A. County and the city and these groups all work together to create this program, and now L.A. County says we want new part of it. Now, here's why. Uh, they bashed, the county bashed this part of the settlement saying, here's what's going on. L.A. City is effectively dumping responsibility for thousands of severely ill homeless people onto the county. No new housing that's already, that hasn't already been committed. And the responsibility now moves over to the county for people that are most urgently in need of help. Let me explain to you what, what's going on. City officials are saying the deal lays out right there what the city can and cannot do. And it sets goals to make sure that uh, the housing and the services continue to grow. Interim housing, etc. I mean, it's all laid out. However... Uh, the dispute now is defining severely ill people. And here's the problem. Housing is the city's purview. Services are the county's purview. And in certain cases, the twain do not meet. So the tentative deal, uh, which uh, the city council, which it has approved, the federal judge handling the case must approve, probably, requires the city to open up a month's beds over the next five years to house 60% of the unsheltered population. Okay. And so the city says, all right, we're going to put up 14,000 new beds to meet that 60% target, and that is going to allow us to enforce the anti-camping measures finally. But, and here is the problem. The language uh, includes only people who can reasonably be assisted by the city. They don't have serious mental illness, not chronically homeless, don't have substance use disorder, or chronic physical illness. So here is what the city of uh, Los Angeles is saying. We're doing our share, but what we can't do is those who really need the help. People who are, uh, have severe drug addiction issues, severely mentally ill, that's not what we do. We don't provide those services. That's the county. And the county is saying, but wait a minute, you're supposed to provide 60% for all the homeless. And the city is saying, oh no, you look at the language, you look at the law, you look at the agreement. We don't do services here in the city. We don't have social workers the way the county does. I don't think they have any social workers, actually. It's a county function. We don't run hospital beds, the county does. We're not clinicians, the county is. And so uh, that type of housing, uh, the city says, that's the responsibility of the county. Because part and parcel of dealing with the homeless that are that ill, that addicted, that becomes a, not a homelessness issue per se, but it becomes a medical issue that the county has to deal with. And part of that is giving them a place to stay. That's the problem. That's where they're screaming at each other. And, man, we're talking about a ton of money and a federal court order that the city has to deal with. And the county is going, wait a minute, all of a sudden, it derails all of our plans, and now we, and they're figuring five to 6,000 beds, but dealing with severely uh, disabled people. And uh, it's now, and this is these, these two entities, the county and the city, were in lockstep. I mean, everybody was on the same side. Boy, not anymore. And this housing thing, I mean, the homeless situation, there's no good answer. I said that over and over again, and getting out of it, is going to take years, and it's going to be all incremental. Coming up, uh, hybrid, not cars, but the hybrid work model, us. We going back to work, and uh, and how we do it, and I just, I tell you about what happens right here. I walk out the door, 
and there's our hybrid model. Well, less hybrid than the new model. I'll explain that uh, coming up. Let's check in with Jennifer Jones Lee live in the KFI 24 hour newsroom. There's a new national plan to help people escaping the war in Ukraine. President Biden says he'll speed up the immigration process for refugees and wants to make it easier for them to enter the country, but not by way of Mexico. A congresswoman in Georgia is taking the stand on her challenge to her candidacy for re election. The group Free Speech for the People is trying to prevent Marjorie Taylor Greene from appearing on next month's ballot in the Republican primary. And Coachella is entering its second weekend. Harry Styles will be tonight's headliner. Billy Eilish, The Weekend, and Swedish South Mafia will also headline. We've got a look at your drive on the 405 in just a moment. If uh, you bought or leased it, your new car from a dealer after 2015 and you're repeatedly back for repairs, your car may be a lemon. Let me recommend the team of Lemon Law Attorneys at Knight Law Group. It's their mission to defend consumers taken advantage of by large auto manufacturers. This is what they do. And you have the right to substantial compensation or the repurchase of your car. Call the Knight Law Group for your free consultation at 844-43-LEMON, 844-43-LEMON. Visit knightlaw.com, knight with a K, knightlaw.com. Let's check your problem on the 405. From about victory uh, up and over the L. Very nice job. 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 Conserving water starts with a few simple water saving actions at home and in your yard. Like adjusting your sprinkler and adding different drinks to so your water only where it's needed. We can all do our part to conserve water. Visit SaveOurWater.com for more water saving tips. Save water, save California. I'm Captain Townsend, host of the True Crime Podcast, Town Gone. In October 2015, 18-year-old Eddie Stephens vanished without a trace. And then the fact that they found her her wallet, her keys, her car. That's what it tells me. That's what it tells me. I'm back in Arkansas investigating what really happened to her. iHeartRadio is number one for podcasts, and it's easy to see why. Listen to Helen Gone on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, Rick Edelman here. You want to finally understand all this hubbub about blockchain and digital assets? I'm excited to tell you that you can now order your copy of my brand new book, The Truth About Crypto. The Truth About Crypto is my straightforward, practical guide to introduce you to the most profound innovation for commerce since the invention of the Internet. Blockchain technology is going to add $2 trillion to the world's economy this decade. I'm a number one New York Times bestselling author, and my new book shows you how you can engage in today's new investment marketplace. The truth about crypto. Fun to read, easy to understand. Most importantly, it gives you the sound, practical information you need to succeed with this new asset class. I cut through the jargon to reveal why blockchain is so transformative and how it works. A must read guide if you want to achieve investment success today. Order your copy of The Truth About Crypto right now at your favorite bookseller. Enter is helping students go from classes to careers right here in LA. Into its job.